Welcome to 1407 Great Malkin Lane. This is the living memory of the X-Men. <sighs> you can't break into my house anymore. Just make an appointment. <laughs> All right. Today, welcome to the AKPC. I got the scrub, I got the nerd herder. No, <laughs> I got MJ, got Sterling Silver, you got B1407. We are gonna talk about X-Men this week. We had five books, which is crazy. Yes, I love it. Six with X-Men last week, too. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I, yeah, six. Oh, yeah. Six books. Marvel is really messing up. They need to mm -hmm. really go into the digital format. Just Trans seven if you read excellence. I don't know if anyone's reading excellence. Uh yeah, that's the, that's kind of that's kind of it. That's that's about the uh let's say the Xicles. That's not right. That like that like that was from the Frisky Dan -Dan Dingo. Um I'm trying to think that um <laughs> that's for X what is now what is that team called blanking on now because you mentioned it. What what is that team called for for excellent? Um, uh ecstatics. Ecstatic, there we go. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't I don't acknowledge them. They're like that um <laughs> They're like that redhead stepkid that you don't like because like I don't are you like mean are you mean Hope Summers? No, I'm kidding. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, that too. But we'll get into that later. Get into that later. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's how fun. you guys well, how how you guys doing the last couple last couple of weeks? The world is been, crazy. Yeah, it's been yeah, there's a there's a lot of things happening, particularly in the area of law, which I'm like sweating over it. But you know, I'm sweating over it, but I'm also very fascinated because you know me and I'm a law nerd. Um, but uh, crazy things happening there. Uh, crazy things happening in the books somewhat. I finally got to see, I saw Dr. Strange last week. Honestly, I genuinely think I would have liked it better if people had spoiled it. Not, not you all, just I'm telling it just people in general. Uh, geez, but besides that, it's been going very well. Yeah, MJ, what do you think? How are you feeling? Yeah, no, great. Uh, my work, I don't have to wear masks no more. So it's nice. Yay! And <laughs> Uh, books are good uh dr strange every single thing has been spoiled to me so at this point <laughs> i'm going to just go see the film uh, i will say one of those was my bad i generally thought he saw it and i messed up i've spoiled one thing and i, I did not I, I I it in whatever you <laughs> it's the main big ones that have been spoiled for me now. right yeah i have not seen the movie yet because i'm waiting till june 11th when it comes up on disney plus save me a few bucks I agree. Uh, like, I mean, yeah, the, but the internet, anytime a move, this is, but this is good though. So when Thor comes out, uh, we can just go, you know what? I'm not going on the internet right now. I'm not. Yeah. Gonna, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I don't know. I love going on YouTube and scrolling, but. No, 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 you don't. See, when you see it, you got to go, la, 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 I can't see you. I'm not looking right. at you. <laughs> Well, he's a reader, so it's difficult. It's gonna be real. It's gonna be difficult for him because he reads fast. Like <laughs> you, speed reader. You're the moment I see the name Thor, it's gonna be like, uh... <laughs> right. All right. So we have New Mutants, mm -hmm. Wolverine, mm -hmm. X Force, yes, Oro X Men, X Men Red, and we could talk about uh, X Men. Which one? It's, it's X Men number ten, right? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Which one you which one you guys want to go with first? Because I can I got thoughts about at all of them. Let's see. You can, I don't know. Let's start with new mutants. Let's just start oh, with God, that. I hated that. <laughs> yes, just start with that. So we can just kind of maybe, maybe go into know. like what we kind but, of yeah, let's get through, let's get through our vegetables yeah. first before we get to the cake. <laughs> it's right. the weird fairy tale aspect of new mutants that was being told alongside it. That was getting kind of annoying. It was kind of cute in the beginning, got a little mm -hmm. annoying towards the end. Yeah, I, gotta, um, gotta that. I didn't like the fact that it was basically a, a transference agreement. <laughs> That's all it was, right? He's like, okay, you're going to sign here and all this is going to be yours. Like, I don't care. And <laughs> like, and plus Madeline Pryor, uh, she's getting rewarded after trying to burn down Krakoa. Like, I don't, I, is, is Krakoa really just that backwards? Like, if you do well, you don't do you don't get anything. But if you fail, you get you fail upwards. Well, I just think it's interesting because like the New Mutants has kind of been this book kind of like about therapy and somewhat about redemption. Mm -hmm. But even though the redemption kind of part that was also in uh, the Hellions, mm -hmm. so they kind of dropped that. I mean, what I have what I was gone now, but they kind of were talking about like redemption and if you can like if you can be redeemed, like can you like can you become better? Like that was supposed to be like a therapy session, but it was more active. So it's just kind of 
we got at least two books with two different concepts. You can have them. You can wholeheartedly have books with two different concepts. I mean, sorry, which I do have taught. You can wholeheartedly have uh, two books with the same concept and, and like execute them differently. And then that's what was kind of happening, but it was kind of like, what's the purpose of doing this in the grand scheme of Krakoa? I'm really trying to understand. And it I just really couldn't. Well, it's, it's, it's expanding the greater Krakoa, like kind of like Excalibur expanded into other worlds. We're kind of like, I, I feel like Limbo is kind of fully joining Krakoa as like mm. a client state as by this. Um, I, I I like that there was contracts. It's, Limbo is all based off magic. It may mm -hmm. kind of make sense that um, contracts are kind of what binds it. Um, yeah. I, I'm just surprised they didn't have like uh, Doctor Str the I mean Clea Strange. Sorry. Yeah. Um, they didn't have Clea, Clea because this is totally within her uh, wheelhouse. Like they could she could have been their notary. Uh, one like, thing about Madeline, like, I agree. I wish we got more reason why she's giving this position, but Elena M Magic, she says it. She says it. She lays it out very simple. It's as simple as, do you trust her? Do you trust Magic? Do you believe her, her capable of deciding who her successor is? If she, if Magic is not capable of deciding who her successor is, is she even capable of being queen? Uh, but regardless of that. Do you trust her to to make that decision? So I, I believe Madeline will have redemption and will prove herself to be a fairly decent queen of Limbo. Um, but we didn't see why Magic believes that. We don't know why. Did she talk to Destiny? Did she? Well, it seems like, I will say, it definitely seems because like, ooh, I, it's been a while now. I forgot. But was that the, It was some kind of event comic, something to that effect. It might have been actually, no, I think... It might have actually been um, uh, the trial of Magneto afterwards, because I think it did show a panel of like magic talking to uh, the Goblin Queen, uh, Madeline Pryor. So I think that's kind of maybe we'll see more about that conversation later on. But it at least said that. The only thing I know is because like sometimes the, the events give us, sometimes the events take us away. There's going to be an event where magic, at least the way it's presented, so like because it you know like co like covers lie and like concepts lie. Like it seems that there's going to be a little belt between magic and madeline Pryor. i forgot what i forgot what it's called it might have been no it wasn't inferno it's it something like that it's, it's gonna be something and i know that's coming out not soon but it's, it's like that will be an event for x-men x-men is gonna have about like six events but i know that's one of them like i was just I, I, like oh, sorry really real quick I, I thought the same but the the contract was signed so I right don't know. I, I'm just like, okay, they have the a hooded figure. We all know it's Belasco, or it's going to be like the dark child of Ileana. <laughs> and it, like in the book, Ileana's talking about like, well, this place ruined my life. But anytime you come into a situation, you talk about, oh, I'm ruler of Wimbo. Like, yeah. you you don't like what it, it did to you, but you like the benefits. And like, this book is called New Mutants. Shouldn't we you know, see the other new mutants like Warlock, Magma, like I don't know, like just. I mean, I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they'll come in. Like, I mean, like yeah, I'm like I, I get what you mean. I'm sure I'm, I'm sure they're coming in. It's kind of like I don't know. It's almost in a lot of ways, it could just be like a retread of Demon Bear, honestly. Except except now it's Elena as opposed to uh, Moonstar, but we'll we'll see. <laughs> yeah, like this is this is this is. Magic is gaining something completely new now. Like she hasn't, she's now no longer queen of limbo. Her soul sword just shattered. So she's starting fresh completely now. And I kind of like that. I'm kind of excited where they go with her. Yeah. Do they go on a completely new route with her? Does she get a new sword? Does she become some angel form? Or I don't know. Like, like what are they going to do with her now? She's That's gonna, what I'm excited for. So she's going to, so she's going to be still chaotic, like ruining people's weddings. I'm still pissed off that she did it to her brother. <laughs> I still, well, yeah, I think, um, I, yeah, even like even Bill, which call he had, I forgot who he interviewed for that, but uh, it was it was one of the, 
might have been Kelly. I forgot who who it was, but whoever like she talked about like how they knew like the like like the wedding wasn't gonna go through, but they loved the idea of like her using her powers to like not get the ring. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. It's like it's like still horrible. Still 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 hate that it happened. But I was like, okay, like it's nice to see like the background and backstory. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's um it's interesting. Like they've done some under Hickman. They were at, they they had some interesting ideas of magic, particularly when she was like. She was she was kind of more comedic, which which lit which legitimately back in the day she was like that. She was kind of a she wasn't all dark and gothy and edge lordy. She 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 actually had like a nice sense of humor. Like I was liking that in New Mutants under Hickman when oh and when he when he had to like say like do you want to make out with me? Do you want to make out with me? Do you want to make out with me? And you, you know it's like it's fuck or fight. You know like I like that stuff. But if we're gonna go back into if we're gonna kind of go back into this kind of like this therapy session, which. Once again, it's kind of what new is kind of do. Let's do that. But let's, I don't know. I don't want to say do it better, but let's have like a nice kind of through line all the way through. But like, like MJ said, if we're kind of going fresh and new, that's fine. Like I am perfectly fine with magic kind of, you know, stop being like the edge lord, which edge lords are fine, but you got to do it right. And I don't necessarily think, think they're doing it right for like they haven't been doing it right with her for a while. I'm worried that like I'm worried that we're just being like. I'm being too optimistic because it could easily be in next issue. She reforges her soul sword, becomes queen right. of Indian, and defeats Blasco, makes his soul into a sword. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That would be interesting. Maybe she can pick a soul sword from out of any out of anyone. Right. I mean, like she did put the soul sword in a uh, kitty after uh, she died in. Uh, right, and at one point she had two soul swords, like under the under Bendis. Like, how's it going, Corey? Um, hey, yeah. Corey, yeah. Uh, you got the four horsemen. Yes, <laughs> we are turn, talking. Uh, yeah, go didn't ahead. she turn Danny's soul into a sword or something? Doesn't hmm? someone once have a soul sword because of her kitty or someone? Yeah, kitty uh, did back uh, the soul yeah. sword trilogy back in Excalibur, back in the early night, back in the mid nineties. Hmm. Apparently, uh, Ileana, when she was a kid, transferred it to um, Kitty. Oh. Not, no not knowing what was going on and then like they pulled it out of her and it was given to um nightcrawl's adopted sister who gave it to their mom who's actually trying it, it was a whole thing it's, thank it's you. A whole thing. yeah thank you for reminding me about that because that's something we actually actually like or like that's something we talked about like not here just like kind of yeah. kind of around like in dead escort that's something we had like we actually should mention is that Ileana is actually she's um she's literally and emotionally uh arrested development because she actually because her mind is actually not as old as her body so they never have really addressed that honestly maybe this is going to be one of those times like, I don't even think they I don't even think they addressed it in like in here and that would be it'd be kind of interesting to see like why she kind of had like like I said it'd be kind of interesting if like they do the through line to her like why she might see stuff kind of as like a fairy tale as a, or a dark fairy tale because she's still like a little girl in her in, in her head. Granted, she's seen a lot of stuff, but it's still like her body is way older than her mind is. And, I thought it was the opposite. I thought her mind was older than her body. I thought uh, when she I thought she was like 30 years old when she returned. And then she went when she returned, she went back into like a nine-year-old girl's body. So I, she's, like, she's like an oh, old woman. Oh, Corey, we're talking movie. about new mutants. Yeah, we're talking about new mutants. Maybe, maybe, maybe I got that wrong. I'm maybe, aware. Maybe I, got that wrong. I do. I do know that. Down this week. I think you're right. I think maybe maybe I make maybe that up because I do know that she was in like she was in limbo for like a second or something, and then Kitty brought her out, and then she grew up. Yeah. So. Yeah, because it was essentially the magic equivalent of a ariel castro like situation if you like, go on a time chamber but in reverse <laughs> like, <laughs> like that poster yeah. in, the, in your background Corey. that's pretty dope huh i like it i like it I'm a, oh I'm a yeah, yeah yeah um i could move my trades to this bookshelf for a future efforts but youtube will be looking at my church books until further <laughs> notice. it's okay don't worry no um but yeah i, I wasn't feeling this book uh vida like there's no like it was advertised like it's gonna be this like confrontation between uh Madeline and Ileana, but it's not. It's really civil and and Danny and Rain are there for no reason, really. It's just well, those, are, well, those are teammates. Like we'll see what happens eventually. Maybe they're gonna yeah. find some kind of thing. He has other teammates though. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, you know, well, you know me. I barely even want to. I barely want to read this book because Sunspot's not in it. Sunspot nor Candy well, won't up. Well, like, what I'm excited for is that I think one of them is going to die, and I think when they get resurrected, they're going to be 
kind of cool. Like that's one of the things we were all excited for. X of Swords was was will Storm die? She, ooh, she's she's kissing death in a in a cover. Does that mean Storm dies in Otherworld and comes back unique? Like how cool would that have been? So like I think that's gonna happen to Danny. I, I call Danny. I think Danny's gonna die and she's gonna <laughs> be resurrected as like a as like a Valkyrie Danny with wings or some shit. I, don't I know. like that idea. That's, a, that's she a was idea. a val. She was deputized as a Valkyrie for a little bit during the War of mm-hmm. Realms Mach Two, a la, J- a la Jason Aaron. I think they're gonna capitalize on that as a, like a new secondary mutation as like wings and shit. Um, <laughs> any anything else we want to met? Ma- like the art, the art is fine. I like yeah. The art. Rod, Rod Rice's yeah. Rod Rice's style fits what Ayala's attempting to tell. Yeah. I was just pretty much like with Rain and Danny. I'm like, okay, a lot of how you're trying to talk Ileana down is all the stuff you were telling Shadow King, we need to get beyond that mindset of thinking. This is a new mutant nation state. We're all being mixed together. We have to revise every category of labeling that we have with each other. You know, but they pick and choose. It just like, you know, okay, Mm -hmm. moving on. Mm -hmm. Um, (sighs) X-Force. X Force. X Force. This was a horror movie. They're setting up. The, the, we're in the first twenty minutes of a horror movie, and I'm kind of for it. I just. What kind of horror movie is it? Like, is it more like uh, Sam Raimi, or is it more like James Wan? What kind, what kind of horror movie are we talking? Uh, yeah, good question. We're talking like, we're talking like Blumhouse. Like, what are we doing? Like, <laughs> right, right. Uh, it's. Mm. Marvel would never do cheap Blumhouse stuff. Even Mickey Mouse <laughs> would say, that's cheap. I'm not doing that. <laughs> but it'll make them like $100 million in like... Yeah. We, yeah. We'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. So what kind of... Yeah, so right. what kind of... Uh, so um, kind of uh, it's kind of like a... It's it's a mix of things. It's like part alien, part um like renegade robot. Hmm. Well, yeah, because this... Oh, like Terminator? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, this but... model of Cerebro now wants to eat people's heads. Just, they're scalping them. Well, yeah. So, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. I'm just, I'm just like, literally, I like go into, I like, I'm like watching the play go on and I'm, I'm like, all right, Sage is, Sage is admitting uh oh dear you hold on did you did you just admit you're a drunk no no, no. she admitted she's an alcoholic no okay <laughs> yeah. i'm okay. like all right no taken <laughs> and uh mr mccoy um why the hell are you still here <laughs> oh that's that's true oh um, what i really liked is kid omega he really shined in this issue for me oh yeah yeah um, it's Perse- he's showing that he's trying he's trying different stuff per- he's getting- yeah percy's percy's do giving his contributions of making grant morrison's cocky little mutant shit actually grow up a little bit no because right. he's, Which- he's taking yeah. husk of previous mutants and uh putting and controlling them and just like tr- you know just trying them out like of uh, battle wise Right. I thought that was really cool. Kind of, it kind of reminds me. It's it's kind of like, and we and we had a uh, we have another book that was that that just straight out. That's just flat out said it. Starting to remind me again about the chimera. It's like it's like it's like it's like, it's like that chimera concept. It keeps keeps coming back, but then goes away, <laughs> but it comes back again. So <laughs> I, I don't like being teased. It, it's getting annoying, actually. We did get a really good, uh, a nice little uh, uh, cameo from Silver Samurai. He would make an excellent addition to X Force. Bring him yeah. in, like just bring him in. Like, seem would would that version of the character have like a really good like coach mindset? Yeah, like, help you with something. Well, I it was, yeah, because he's basically like I don't know. I would couldn't like if for GI for all my GI Joe fans, which should be more, which should be there should always be they 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 be more GI Joe fans. He kind of now kind of reminds me of like Beachhead. Right, uh, like I haven't seen him since the Crucible, really. So, like, uh, we really haven't. Right. So, I would, I wouldn't mind if that's kind of the role that he takes. Oh, 
also just once again like that's a nice character to like just bring on because like once again like at the very beginning of most of these books we had this kind of idea of like this rotating roster of people which i enjoyed i enjoyed that a lot and now it's, it's kind of getting stagnant like no these are the people that we're going to have like for the most part but yes yeah, so silver samurai is interesting because he has a son that's a human so i'm like that's like that's a dynamic right there who's also called silver silver samurai but um <laughs> so that's at least something that's that'd be interesting silver uh, samurai so, jr silver samurai jr platinum I samurai like, <laughs> but anyway i like where the silver samurai is currently i like him as he, he replaced apocalypse as like the champion of krakoa for uh the crucible Anytime you want to go through the crucible, you fight you fight whoever you want, and if you don't fight whoever you want, the default is Silver Samurai. But he um, whooped Kid Omega's. Okay, uh, Kid Omega. He took the form of Juggernaut. Fine, and went up against Silver Samurai, and Samurai kicked his ass. It was so like, and he and the entire time he's saying like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be here right now. And Kid Omega's like, you know, you're going to do it anyway. <laughs> but it was What was the fight over, though? What was it over for? Like, uh, was it, it was just, just training. Duel? Training. Training. He, he was just trying it out. It was inside the Crucible, though. So surely there was. Purpose. Well, I think the Crucible isn't just for. I, I see what you mean, but I don't think I don't think the cru Crucible is just for. Actually, no. Yeah, I, I have to say that because the Crucible isn't just for uh, like resurrection. Because remember back, I know it's been a while. But remember back when Kid Cable was fighting Wolverine. Yeah. That wasn't for resurrection. That was just for like that was just for combat practice. Well, yeah, and then we had that white page where it's like everyone was just fighting random people. Yeah, like, everyone. You know, like, uh, yeah, like yeah, the only person that got kicked out was Magic because we don't. And to this day, we don't. I don't. Hopefully, they see that would be nice, nice to bring back. But she did something to where she got disqualified. I don't know what you could do to yourself disqualified when death is really not even a factor. I don't know what she did, but I would like embarrassment. to embarrassment. She probably embarrassed somebody. Like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. Or she, she knows Magic. Maybe she, maybe she used Magic to cheat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? Thank you for mentioning that because magic will come into play a little bit later on in this uh, little podcast of ours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, she did something magical that 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 either made Apocalypse displeased or it made Krakoa itself displeased. Like sentient, higher godlike version of Groot did not like that. You have to be disqualified. Right. But uh. Also, Kid Omega. Um, okay, first of all, Wolverine should not give anybody any kind of pep talk because it comes off really mean. <laughs> Just uh, I and I quote, he says, uh, what, "What does he say?" He said, um, "Safety is an illusion, kid. Life will kill you. X Force is here to slow down the killing. That's all we can do." Like that's that's not untrue. No, it's true, but like <laughs> he just says stuff like why and, and Davido says, you know what, you should really write greeting cards. Like, like why you, is he so cynical again? <laughs> he was no. hopeful when in, in the post House of X, he was hopeful. Uh, so and then uh, going back to cynical again. And I then lies and deaths, and then lies and deaths of Wolverine happens, and he's like, nope, <laughs> the world shit. Like that. <laughs> No, like he's like Wolverine at this point is the kind of guy who at a birthday party for a four year old to be like, "You're gonna die one day." What the? Heck? Right. I wasn't. I have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, and also Kid Omega, he oh, um, uh, he finds out what's going on. He go like he goes and tells his ex, which are the cocoon. Yeah. Is a member of a hive mind. Yeah. And they accuse him of stalking. Like, you know what? I hope you get eaten. No, 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 no. I, I'm not gonna, he did uh, stalk him. But like, he was. How, really, how do you know they're at this random beach unless you, you've been keeping track with your powers? You but know? he's a telepath. He can find it. He can find it. Well, to be fair, that, that doesn't mean you're not a. That doesn't mean you're not a stalker. That just means that you have a power that allows you to stalk. So that's a bit. <laughs> and it's really. Yeah, what, they, is really with them, they're stalkers too. Like, I mean, like they're telepaths. They're they're, they're very always much in has an open open Krakoa has an open policy for telepaths. So it's right. not necessarily stalking, I guess, because 
you're, you for some reason you're allowed to just enter people's minds. That's not against the law. Well, that's you're Emma. thinking a, a telepathic society. It should be against the law. Yeah, it's, it's, kind, of, just... it's kind of like a rocky. It's kind of a bit of an Iraqi culture there, where it's like if you're not powerful enough to keep me out of your mind, I should be allowed in your mind. Right. Well, you know they don't really uh, uh, use that for Colossus because as we see as we see in the data page, he's trying to fight against uh, his uh, conditioning. They say they it, it was basically saying that um, he's he's so strong, he's so tough, but he's actually really gentle. And and, he, and they say like every morning he goes to the beach, puts his hands in the sand, and he writes, help me. Hmm. Or, like he, why aren't his he, friends yeah, checking up on him? Storyteller. Is that the storyteller or is that him though? Um, we don't know. The storyteller might be asking Kokoa for help too. The storyteller might be asking for help. <laughs> Tell him, <laughs> they're not paying me enough. <laughs> the person no, is he's crazy. The, the, the Russian guy, the Russian storyteller. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, the, yeah, chronic, yeah, no, yeah. the chronicle, the chronicle. Yeah, yeah, the chronicle. Hell, Story. like they should be storytelling. No, I, I wrote Russia invaded Ukraine as a joke, but I couldn't undo it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, you know crazy. that you you know that the next little story thing to like open the little advent drawer is the other Rasputin brother is gonna yeah. get is gonna activate Piotr or do we're gonna get the full answer of why um Kitty's ex came back a little shaken. Oh also Omega Red like Corey you you uh you got on this but say okay yeah. all right like all right let's just set it up Omega Red is in his cave eating his breakfast, which is like something that he hunted. Okay. He didn't kill anybody. He's fine. Um, <laughs> Sage comes in it and then basically turns it into a therapy session. Oh, I drink to get keep everything down. I I beat up gorgeous George. I uh did I slept with never mind. I'm like, hmm. and he's like. Why are you telling me this? I don't. I didn't ask. Why are you here? Why are you at my house? Talk. It's like, are you drunk right now? Maybe. <laughs> and it, it, it was great. Uh, and also, we find out this uh, Cerebro thing has killed a bunch of really powerful mutants like Havoc, Polaris, uh, Magneto. I guess like it's like it gains power by eat. By eating powerful mutants, right? Uh, oh, also Forge. So, like, <laughs> um, what's the end game? It kind of yeah. reminds me of Siler from from Heroes, honestly. Yes, <laughs> that's what it was. That's what it was. Siler. It's a robot version of Siler. <laughs> right. I wonder if we're getting like a new character, like, cause I. I feel like we kind of have like a chimera situation going on where the thing is going to like grow a new body with like a powers from everyone it's killed. Um, Man, now that would have been a great way to introduce Children of the Atom because what if those like those prototypes came out from that and they were called Children of the Atom, not, like not that other book that was, co like, that was coincidentally also written by Vita AL that didn't do well. But um, <laughs> there's, there's a bunch, yeah. Marvel, they fail upwards. Yes, like, Leah Williams so, has a book coming out. Vita is still on a book. And also, can we, can we just acknowledge that X-Force is one of the two books that's still around from beginning, from the dawn of X? Well, that and X, well, no, X-Men didn't exist at that point. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Them ending news. It's just like... And it still ooh. hasn't finished a single story. <laughs> that's how they do it. They don't finish stories. That's how. That's no, we how keep, no, we do perpetual storytelling. Like every everything's a teaser for like the next thing. <laughs> but but that it never comes. It never comes. It, really it never cool. comes. It teases something that never comes. Then we tease something else. It's how you. That's how, um, I feel my like personal theory is that Xavier is that uh, Klaus's brother works for Xavier. That's my theory. 
Oh, uh, which oh yeah, you, oh yeah. There's only yeah, one. I think, I think this because we need Xavier to be have to have achieved something pretty epic post House of X. He didn't do Mars. He didn't do X of Swords. So he hasn't really done anything post House of X. So what has uh, he been oh, up to? Post House of X. Okay. I think he has achieved a. He's trying to achieve a mutant democracy takeover of Russia type thing going on there. Like, yeah, we uh, still don't even know why uh, Colossus was there. I mean, yeah, they say he was kids, but like he could he could have brought a team. I don't know, like it, it that's weird to me. And um yeah, it's just uh I all right, my thing with Ben Percy right now, he needs an editor to tell him like calm down. He needs a gym shooter. Hmm. He needs a gym shooter at Marvel's never gonna have anybody with it. The gym shooter temperament back. Uh, that's a pipe dream. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I know, but like, some like dream. if uh, if Jordan White wasn't the uh, editor, I'm pretty sure Inferno would have been a bit more Inferno Mach Two. Yo, God, and that in um, Lives and Deaths of Wolverine because I'm still I'm still pissed off that people are calling that a classic. Like, it's not a classic. Like it's like he saw Days of Future Past one time and like, hey, I could use that too. I would be, I would be curious to think like that. Would, uh, yeah, that'd be an interesting debate. Not a debate. That'd be an interesting search for later. Like, what we consider in like the maybe in the last twenty years, really. That's been like that would be considered a classic. Now it's been, it's been that, it's been that long. There has to be some classics for like Marvel. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah. All, House of M. Anything Bendis was a part of. Anything? I don't know. I love me just. I love me some business, but I'm just like, uh, let's see. His 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 uh, uncanny. I probably was yeah. Uncanny X Men run was not for me, and that was like, yeah, just, just crazy. I had Cyclops in it too, so I rarely I rarely say I rarely you know I me. Mean? I'm a Cyclops fanatic. I'm like, no, nope, I am good with that. That was a waste of time, and I'm the good way. <laughs> Did we um, talk about um? Uh, Cable's adopted daughter basically deciding, uh, we're not, yeah. We're not there uh, yet. We're not yeah, there. Yeah, we'll we're get, we'll there. get oh, no, there. Oh, oh, that's, oh there's that's a the... lot to talk about with Immortal X. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's a lot. Yeah. Probably, probably move on to the next comment. All right, the next yes. book, um, Wolverine. Oh. Uh, we, uh, yeah, me and MJ were talking about this. Yeah, um, we wish, I, I wish that a former townsfolk member who um, loves the omnivorous sexual Canadian that nearly, that makes Wolverine nearly want to kill himself every time he comes into a story. Just, oh, also Ben Percy, he know he's trolling the fans. He said that continuity is for losers. I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh, for real? Run up. Uh, you're gonna run this fade, like just uh, Deadpool. I hate Deadpool. Where where did he say this continuity is, is for losers? Uh, what did it say? Like, it's right here. I, I, uh, I just hate how page, Deadpool dominates every comic he's in. Pa page eight. When he's oh like, well, okay, yeah. I don't. I don't think you really need. I don't think you really need to take that. I, do you think, think Deadpool so. would be an incredible asset to Krakoa? Though they already have Gwenpool. For is instance, Gwenpool? Like, <laughs> Gwenpool, yeah, Gwenpool could easily have assassinated Nimrod, the Orcus <laughs> leadership. Gwenpool can literally walk between white pages, walk into Orcus, kill someone, walk back into the white pages, and be gone. Like She's an incredible asset. But the same, the same thing could be said if you were to get a team with Manifold, Jesse Bedlam, Trinary, and have them just short out the entire uh, Orcus base and then have Manifold uh, pop them out of there. It's like, like, but oh, yeah, you're right. Speaking of Manifold, like, that, we'll get into that too. Yeah, yeah, right. right. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yeah, uh, we'll um, yeah we'll Maverick and Deadpool should be, have their own, should have their own limited, have their own like Two issue limited series and just call them a couple of dicks, because they're just they're friends apparently and like, no, no, stay away. <laughs> no, but um, 
Also, Danger is apparently the villain, but we don't get her motivations. Apparently, she... We're going to get her motivations in the next issue. It's been too... She hasn't really really done anything too evil. Nothing. She's working for the U.S. government. That's pretty evil in itself. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, that was... The art's really... uh, I don't know what was in the package. It seems like... It seems like it's like anyone can become danger by putting that gear on. You become. I think it's a child. I think it's like the parts of a, of a, like maybe, but it's like it's a helmet, it's gloves, and a bunch of other parts. So to me, it looks like you become danger by putting on the, the outfit. So it's like it's like it's like a new U.S. agent, but it's danger. Or maybe it's anyone like part on it comes danger. Maybe it's like a new form where like she puts it on and she gets a whole new I don't know. But Adam Kubert is a genius. I love his colors. The Kubert, uh, yeah, the Kuber brothers can do no wrong and everything, though they make their father of happy memory proud. Okay. Uh next. Uh Let's uh ugh. now we got now we got uh past the the vegetables. Let's uh let's get into the sweets. I do think that all three of these are me and or fill, uh canon. Uh okay. Not, okay. not filler. All right. Uh, I think all three have made main storylines. Okay, okay. Which, which one do you want to go first? X-Men, Moro X-Men or X-Men Red? Let's choose our cake. Oh, let's do the cake. The cake? Okay. Um, well, yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. All three of them would be ten to speak. Um, let's go for Mortal. Let's just go for Mortal X. Okay, think let's jump, three... jump. Yeah. Hope Summers. Brack, brack, that's what you get. Brack, brack. <laughs> she no. is... She is... Okay, excuse my language, but she dick rides cable so hard. Get over it. Your dad is not the best soldier of all time. He's Cyclops is dad. the best soldier of all time. Yeah, because he trained. Yeah, because he trained Cable. I think I like that. Funny enough, like Cy- Cyclops. I mean, you know, may he rest in peace. You know, shout out to a real one. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but uh, Cyclops. Um, I uh, I enjoy that they're like, wait, do we have a profile? Like, does he have profile for this? Of course he does. <laughs> and like they should just that was the be- that was the best page for me. I think the best page period, but that was the best page for me. We had a whole white page with Cyclops, even with footnotes. This man had footnotes. This man is trying to. This man is trying to get like law review. <laughs> like he's trying to get to a law journal. Damn it! He had a whole section of how to deal of like what celestials were, what um a kaiju. Were. Did he say giants? I think. Yeah. And, yeah, well, yeah, what giants were. He basically said, if you don't know what Sinnoh is, then get past later, 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 because you should know what a Sinnoh is. I loved every bit of that white page. I'm like, you're goddamn right. That's what Cyclops would do. <laughs> Scott Summers. Yeah, Emma said, it's my Scotty. Of course he's going to have some. Okay, that, all right, that side chick needs to sit down somewhere. <laughs> yes. I wish, actually saw his, I wish we saw his, his order. Not... not He's no longer Captain Commander, so he couldn't no, order anything. Captain I think they actually used <laughs> protocols. They, they didn't actually use any of his protocols. Uh, oh, they uh, didn't no, need they, to. Oh, yeah, you're right. They didn't need to. Yeah, they, they didn't. They actually um they 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 did they did something that literally got that literally got um Sebastian Shaw in trouble. Well, not in trouble, but like that 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 they found Sebastian Shaw and that's killing mutant. So. And Kit and Catherine was there, and she said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, um, or Kate, Sinister. Sit like okay. That Sinister's was awesome. so obvious. <laughs> He's so obvious now. And um, that one panel with him and Nightcrawler, I was like, this is a German and a former Nazi. There's a joke here somewhere. <laughs> What's I gonna say? So yeah, that had that was pretty cool that he's just like, oh well, this is a chimera formula. Don't worry, it's you know, it's not it, it, it's not too ready, but you know, it's getting there. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I loved his pet, his Cyclops mouse. Oh, yeah, well, oh that, that cat! Oh god, I hate that cat. 
Yeah, and, can't. Yeah, you also and of course, two. Sinister would have an ugly mutated version of. Sorry, YouTube. I'm I'm, I'm saying this. The ugliest type of cat, the Sphinx cat. Of course, <laughs> Sinister would have a mutated version of the ugliest type of cat. There's got to be a reason for that. I want to know. I need to talk to the uh, writer and be like, why that cat specifically? Gary like, Gilliam. Gary Gilliam knows what he's doing. Also, I think he got. I think he got jealous of. Um, Gambits. <laughs> who's the guy that's involved in the whole thing with Scarlet Witch creating him? Oh, uh, wait, 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 the Vision? Town? Who the, the, the person who created the Scarlet Witch? Oh, you're talking about, oh, yeah, yeah I know. Are you talking about the High Evolutionary? The high Evolutionary. I think he got jealous when the High Evolutionary showed up with all his animals. <laughs> so he's like, I want to make some animals, right? <laughs> It kind of came out of nowhere. I, I don't remember Sinister ever making superpowered animals. And then all of a sudden, High Evolutionary shows up with superpowered animals. Uh, Dr. Stasis has superpowered animals. So he's like, I need superpowered animals. I need superpowered animals. But, but he, but, oh, never, never mind. Never, we'll, we'll get into that one next. Um, but we kind of jump into it with Celine. Celine yeah. is, um, so, all right, so Celine didn't get what she wanted and she nope. threw a temper tantrum. That's She's correct. doing That's a said. sexy girl pout, just like, yeah, um, I'm just going to sit here and look hot while I'm pouting, and you guys can figure that stuff out. I yeah, think yeah, it's no, no. mentioned you know that she is right. She is 100% right. Krakoa needs a magic specialist. Yes. Right. And we can use, and we can use magic. <laughs> or, or somebody, or, you know, Wanda. I, I'd rather give Wanda uh, the... Maybe even, maybe even Pixie. But well, I don't know why you specify I if Wanda's a mutant and whether yeah, to call the letter to the games. I, I thought that was going to happen, but now I've been thinking, I'm like, if they can steal the memories of Selene in regards to how to destroy the Titan creature, mm-hmm. why can't they just take all her memories in regards to magic? Wait, and do what with it? I thought, I thought they were going to wipe her mind, honestly. Put it in Exodus. What if Exodus became the magic? But he's not a magic. He's, he's a preacher. He's just right. A but if you, yeah, but so why does Celine doesn't have any inherent magical abilities? It's because of her knowledge, right? It's yeah. not her mutant Same thing with apocalypse, technically speaking. Well, then by that logic, beast beast is also capable. Like I'm talking like uh Tyke Beast, like Beast from the O five that you know got ripped out and then put here. Like he also had he was also dabbling with magic. So maybe we could like uh remind him. Of doing magic, actually. Then again, I think they said why they won't like why they won't have, have beast. So, right, yeah, no, but nobody Exodus likes him anymore. Exodus <laughs> might be able to put that knowledge into someone else, but it's it's, it's his power that takes that knowledge. So. Well, actually, I do want better. I'm surprised that you didn't since, since you want to magic you so bad. I'm 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 surprised that you didn't go for like your uh like for the person that that you like a lot on the council who's already on the council. Storm. She's yeah. She can do magic. Right. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. I think that's it's true. redundant. Like, why would Exodus? I don't see him taking knowledge from someone and not getting it to himself. Like, if he's going to take knowledge and give it to someone else, he's giving it to himself also. So it'll be just double. It was copying the same knowledge yeah. to give to someone else. And you have two people with that knowledge then. And we also get some really good stuff with um, Storm and Magneto, which, you know, that's great. I always like, yeah. Wouldn't it be re- wouldn't how pissed off would Black Panther be if Storm got with um got with Magneto because they complement each other very well. I'm gonna go on the record and say, can somebody make this in a fanfic form so I can sell it? I'm pretty sure they. I'm pretty sure they are. I mean, they like. I mean, what what was not fanfic was freaking Magneto getting with Rogue. So I mean, we'll, like, oh. maybe there's maybe there's some. There's some uh, what if world out there that I just don't know about where that happened. Was uh, that essentially DC trying to tell people, look, that what's what that Slade Wilson character did in the Judas contract was bad. <laughs> it's, it's it's wild. It's it's like I but also I didn't like the I didn't like the reason why you couldn't destroy it. Because it's made of the bones of the eternal gate. If you destroy it, you destroy other world, which destroys everything. So it's, it's just a wonky. <laughs> I think Doctor Nemesis needs to be on the council. Yeah, Doctor Nemesis, but once again, not a magic user. Like they generally yeah, do. Not... No, but I, I love 
like when anytime we see him, he's great. He's like, look, simple for me is super complicated for you. So I'm gonna talk to yeah. you like you're like you're a uh like you're a first grader with Down syndrome. Explain to me like a four-year-old. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> really, like, really yeah. slowly. You see. Uh, imaging okay let me break it down more <laughs> yeah i generally uh, i am genuinely curious who they're going to pick for magic user though like that is like that is the through line of this for me like when they pick Richter, it maybe huh the Richter, he's got he's got apocalypse but magic he's not but he's on other world right now you can come so back they, it's not like he's so stuck there three new seats do they create a whole three new seats or are we Someone else is retiring. And no, I think no, I think because Magneto. No, I think uh, gone. Mag, yeah. So Magneto left. So I think now he's take now they're taking. Sorry, Hope's taking his seat, right. and so they yeah. still have a seat ready for uh, like they need a seat for Apocalypse. I mean, I just it just I, I, I no, don't think no, 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 no. Destiny took Apocalypse's seat. Destiny right. did. No, no. I hang on. Because yeah. oh, no, because so Celine said Destiny is not uh, good enough to be Apocalypse's replacement no i'm trying to i'm trying to think no there should be at least i think there's still two seats open because magneto left no, hang on magneto left and then mm -hmm. destiny came in and so magneto was still holding the seat but he's still leaving yeah go ahead i'm pretty, pretty sure magneto hope i'm pretty sure hope takes magneto's seat, and hope takes magneto's seat. so is, is there still is there still not a seat open no no every, every seat is full okay all right i think right, someone right, cool. has to retire or we're going the iraqi route and we're just adding three more seats mm, maybe yeah, it's. I mean, right. I mean, get rid of sinister. Sinister. Sin no, sinister is probably like. I mean, I give it like like in the meta sense, they can't do that because he seems to be like the one controlling all this. Oh, way too powerful. I, I, that's my biggest flaw, problem with the Mortal X Men is that at this point, it's now should be Sinister X Men because it <laughs> he has twenty five different time traveling abilities now. 25, not different time travel days. So he's 20, he has 25 clones of Mora that if he kills any one of them, he can go to different save points. That's how the director has ex explained it, is that he has, he has cloned Mora 25 different times at different ages. And then based off the age of her, if he kills her, it'll go back to a different year of time. Mm -hmm. So he has right. 25 different save points. And if he wants to add a new save point, he just grows a new Moira to a certain age, and he has a new save point. He's a gamer. So he's just, yeah, he's a, a gamer. gamer. He's a ga he's a gamer. It's 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 scummy. It's 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 but it's it's like if he's you kill all twenty five at once, what happens? You know, does it fuck up, blow up the timeline? It messes up. It messes up the save file. You get you, you got a blow on it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, he turned Moira into a PS five, which is which is funny because like you know we didn't. Like, cause in, in like a certain a certain aspect, we're like, no, she she doesn't deserve that. But now, currently, like, yeah, we need no, we need twenty, no, we need they need 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 a full third because she needs to suffer. <laughs> yeah, uh, especially after what she did to MJ. Well, yeah, not not we're not you MJ. We're talking about Mary Jane. <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, okay, did this go down in Zebwell Spider Man? Because I'm not reading Zebwell. Oh, no, 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 it was in a free comic book day. Yeah. It, what did she do? Just say she's, uh, she's taking. She's going to basically use Mary Jane as like a way to get through the censors of Kakoa, and like she's going to basically use her skin as her own. I don't know if she's going to like. He's leather facing her. Yeah, she's leather facing her. I don't know. I don't know if she's like. I think what she's going to actually do is like get in her mind somehow, and then just like pretend to be her. But I just, I just don't, I just don't know why her specifically. They had like there's. I don't, I almost there's none because like Spider Man and the X Men. I just don't know why her specifically. That's just the only, I'm just like, but why? <laughs> like, this is the second time she's done this. She did it to Banshee. It's 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 because they have the, they both had cancer, you know? Did did she have cancer? I'm she pretty sure Mary Jane cancer. had cancer. No, they don't, I don't think cancer. that's no, no, yeah, no, no, that's true. Okay, okay. The reason why Mary Jane got invited is because, or as we, um, she's an advocate for the Kokoan uh, medicines because her her aunt had dementia and um, she took the uh, medicine and now she's fine. She went on TV about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I just kind of, I, I mean, I, I, you can almost like, cause, because it's a universe and it's connected and they, like all these characters have different like interactions with each other. I, I know specifically like they, 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 you can almost always reason out of like why it happened. But I just feel like of all the characters you could have picked, there was like 
other people viable to pick than like they could it she could have picked huh? Vision. She no. could have taken over vision. No, I would think um what you want to call it? Um Legion's mom. Oh, Gabrielle like, Holler. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Something, yeah, something like that. I don't know. Like I said, it's just it's just interesting. I mean, we'll see what happens. But I was like, okay. I mean, like that's at least it's interesting. It, it does peak and it does peak the in- interest by definition. So I'm just like, okay. But but ne- the next issue, we're gonna get a new subject. Irene Atler. I'm yes. curious to see what is her views for Kokoa. I really want to see it. Hmm. Apparently, she has a a great vision coming. They they, I think someone has talked about it i don't know who talked about it someone has said that gr- destiny has only ever had one great vision i don't know what a great vision is but that's <laughs> what calling it. and apparently she's going to have her second great vision coming up right. here i am okay. curious like because she's repeating the same i wonder if that's how everyone's going to die basically she said the same thing that sinister said at the end like the first issue when like like when he died i wonder if that's how everyone's going to go like i see ghosts i believe it was she was basically pulling a crazy Jane dead in his arms, dead in his arms, kind of. Right. So I wonder if that's how everyone else is going to uh, go out. But like okay. I said, generally, generally enjoyed uh, that issue. Uh, I, I'm still. Oh yeah. Also, I hope you guys appreciated all the. Um, I hope you guys appreciated all the Christian metaphors and re- references that we got, like like when Exodus and uh, oh, like, like when yeah. Exodus and, and Hope were about to touch, and I was like, oh okay, it's, it's that it's that painting. <laughs> also also like um like it's funny how hope like exodus was the one who sponsored her it's like he he convinced her to go uh to be on the council and the entire time in her head she's talking bad trash about him. like he's he's nuts but like he bigs up her ego so like by the end of the issue they're like they're getting they're they're becoming friends right and i don't like i don't like that if Exodus was religious before, before finding out his power was based off religion, <laughs> oh man, he's gonna go full fucking cultist now. He's gonna try converting everybody. He, he's becoming the uh, the dude from the Sparrows from Game of Thrones. Yeah, like he's like, look what look what Hope did. Look what right Hope now- did. Right now, I'm just thinking. Who's like, no? Now I'm just thinking. Who's 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 gonna be the Cersei? Like, who gets to walk a shame? Okay, <laughs> all right. There's a couple, I think. Probably but... Mystique. Even though that kind yeah. of cheating, because she could probably just. Uh... Oh yeah, you know what? Wanda would probably be. Well, but no, she's kind of forgiven now, though. So. Yeah, but like, still, like they still want to. No, I think I think in this like in this uh, horrible metaphor that we're going through, I think Wanda would actually now be. Who's the? Uh... Who who was the girl? See now I'm blanking. Mary like, Madeline. Girl... No, huh? Mary Madeline. No, no, no. She's the. I'm trying to think of the girl from the. Jesus Christ, I'm free. The, the Natalie Dormer character. Oh, uh, Marjorie Tyrell. Yeah, yeah Tyrell. I think I think she'd now be the Tyrell character. Yeah, I can see that. I can totally see it. Okay. You know what? Let's save X Men Red for last. Let's yes. go with X Men Eleven. Um, this was a great Gene issue. <laughs> this is a good Cyclops issue. Cyclops got hands. <laughs> and he showed, he, like, he doesn't need uh, a team to take somebody out. Like, he just, like, he gave him that one-two in the blast. <laughs> that one-two blast. Yeah, I don't know what it is about, I don't know what it is about, like, X-Men lately, but it's just, like, we're going to be showing you some excellent, like, fighting moves. Like, we had a Rogue a couple issues ago doing, like... Uh, doing, doing a pal driver. <laughs> doing a pal driver, but it was, but it was an upside-down pile driver because she took him up. It was a sexy pile driver. <laughs> Hey, th- you know this tells you, right? I you totally, I can totally see Rogue as a little kid sneaking downstairs with uh to watch wrestling because because Mystique and Destiny wouldn't allow her to watch that. Like, oh, I love, I love WCW. Her favorite wrestler was Kevin Nash. Right. No, but um, uh, every I think everybody got a really good moment in X Men. Um, Polaris, she had a really nice moment. Rogue. Rogue was cool. Uh, Gene is not with that uh, nonsense. She like, oh, you're not gonna. Oh, you want to destroy my planet? No, no. Like I used to be Marvel Girl, and I was reborn as a Phoenix. I'm hmm. now and forever Jean Grey. Like that's the Gene I know. Right, that's- but you can't. 
in, you can't in one in, in one breath. This this I don't know what this author is doing because like in one breath they're like she's not guilty for the millions she killed because she was taken over by the phoenix. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I never was taken over by the phoenix. So what? Are you guilty for those millions of deaths, or was the phoenix guilty for the millions of deaths? Well, I mean, if we're gonna really gonna get on somebody for destroying a bunch of plans, we got really gotta condemn Galactus. <laughs> but nobody wants to do that because it's, it's necessary. Killed him. Galactus. Yeah. Well, we never, we've never gone in a comic where the author is trying to make us believe that Galactus is not responsible for those deaths of those planets. Because the even established answer, most Marvel, right? Sorry. So yeah, go ahead. The established answer that Marvel's pretty much kept, I don't know where they put it, and I think Stan wrote it himself, where I think it was Reed who was told all this information first. Galactus is essentially kept in employment by the cosmic concepts for mm-hmm. intercosmic population control. Right. I get that. So he's kind of like the brood. He has hunger problems, but even then, I've never read a story where they were trying to like make me feel overly bad for him. I guess he's still not right. justified destroying the planets. Oh, don't worry. Wait till like wait till the Fantastic Four finally actually come into the MCU, and then like we're gonna have a book about Galactus being like, no, wait, Galactus was like, no, you don't understand. Galactus like he he he's a tragic hero. He actually was saving the like those planets because they were because they well, were going to die. Or, <laughs> no, he was saving the universe. Or he found out that those planets were uh, had celestials in them, and he and he has to keep the celestial population down. Right. <laughs> oh wow, that, that makes a lot of sense. Like, it's also a very dangerous re- reasoning of hers. She's like, it's like she didn't learn anything. You can't control the phoenix. Nobody can control the phoenix. Cyclops did. Cyclops did. Nobody can control the phoenix. So, Cyclops, did. Cyclops did. I've read that story multiple times, and. You can, you can, you're, you can. Cyclops did. You can take your opinion however you want. Pushed. But my is that Cyclops went fucking insane. That is my oh, opinion. He was pushed. My was opinion pushed. is that motherfucker went insane. He didn't I was, know I guess, I guess the question, I guess the question would be at that point. At what point do you think he went insane? Like, After what, at what point? the Phoenix. I think he had a, huh? I think he, I think he believed he could control the Phoenix or that they could all control it or whatever. And okay. it failed. He had a, he had a, he had a, he was no. facing extinction for his race, so he, yeah. with, with that in mind, maybe it's reasonable to summon the phoenix. Okay. So he had a plan he was working on. The moment right. he got the phoenix, that plan went out of the window. That's actually not. That's not true. Actually, you know what? That is true. Why did it go out the window? Hang on. Now we're getting. Now we're getting into it. Why did it go out the window? Because he got the power. No, because of it. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Yeah, but that's a consequence. Why did? Why did he get the power? They got split up. Yes, because the Avengers intervened. Iron Man did right. that. Iron Man specifically. <laughs> right, but I, I feel like he should have. I don't know. I, I and feel they took like... Hope away. Well, Hope was trying to. Well, Hope was trying to. Well, excuse me. Hope didn't know what she wanted. She want first. She wanted to join the Avengers, and then she's like, "No, you got to kill me." And then at the end, they were like, "When like I went like literally when." Captain America and I know I think it's mainly Iron when Iron Man just appropriated the X-Men's plan. They just they did the exact thing Cyclops wanted to do from the beginning. It's like, oh wow, it's almost like if you had just let him do what he wanted to do from the beginning, we wouldn't have, you know, had this whole thing. And you know, a bunch of people wouldn't be dead, like Xavier. But and also <laughs> and also like hope in the whole thing was like, I don't want the Phoenix, I don't want the Phoenix. And then as soon as the Phoenix got appropriated, she's like, now I want the Phoenix. He's like, no, right. no, 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 you can't, you can't, no flip flopping. Okay. But anyway, yeah. But if, but even if you want to mention that one specific, like specifically Cyclops, there's another, like there, there's another Cyclops, or like there, there's another, like, well, same Cyclops. And uh, Secret Wars Redux, he wholeheartedly had control of the Phoenix. He had his Phoenix egg. Yes. Well, temporarily, sure, but I, I don't believe eventually it will corrupt you. I 100% yeah, okay. believe that. Now, to be, now, to be fair, though, like, now, to be fair, um, though that is controlling it. It might not be controlling it for long, but he did, but he did control it. Even then, I I wouldn't even. I don't think. I don't even think Captain America holding the Phoenix Force 
in the midst of battle could hold up. Like, if, if say he's in the midst of battle, I think he's gonna. I think the Phoenix is so powerful that in the middle of battle, mm-hmm. even Captain America would give into the rage and attack someone he probably shouldn't have. Like, that it, it, that's such a powerful force. If, if if you could control the Phoenix, why didn't Odin control it? Well, Odin was so too cool. Oh, oh no, Odin hang on. Odin, cool. no, Odin was controlling the Phoenix, just not the way you think, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He was using no. the wrong head to control it with, that's for sure. No, no, but like my thing is, uh, <laughs> like Namor went crazy, Ilyana went crazy, and Colossus kind of went Ilyana and yeah, Colossus, yeah, they, they, Emma, they kind Emma of going each other cra- out. Emma went crazy too, yeah, but yeah, Cyclops- she, yeah, she, she basically, I've seen the panels of what she did with Thor, she just did a dominatrix knockout kind of thing. But Cyclops, he was the only one who was keeping his mind together. And the and the reason why he even went Dark Phoenix was because uh, Xavier was goading him. He said, well, like, that, oh, well, he was, well, he was, like, he legitimately was fighting the majority, no, pretty much all the Avengers, a majority of the X-Men. Uh, he was, he was keeping his sanity together with Emma, with M- M- Emma Frost at the same time. Xavier was there too, trying to fight him. And then he got the, then he got the full power of, of the Phoenix Force. So all those factors came into play. Then he went Dark Phoenix. That's very important to, that's very important to mention. So it was, it was a bunch of factors that, that caused him to go Dark Phoenix. It but, caused, no, it, but everybody maybe, wants to blame him for Wakanda. Like they put maybe him he didn't go on. insane. Maybe did not go insane, but it definitely affected his, he, he was not the same Cyclops as right. he was previously. It affected his mental capacity in some regards. It made him extremely egotistical. It made him extremely arrogant. He could not see the fact that they were doing more harm than good and that they had to send the Phoenix away. I can disagree with that. I would think once again, I mean, we could man, we could talk about that. That'd be a, that'd be a good debate, not debate, that, like, like that'd be a good conversation for another uh, time. Specifically talking about like, I mean, like I we I whole Harlem ready to go back into um, Avengers vs X Men. Like, it's, it's been quite some time. I have I have technically fresh eyes on that. I would love to see that because like how they wrote it and what they actually wanted the effects to be. And I mean they I mean like the writers, including that fraction, including Jason Aaron, even including. Uh, than this. I think how they wanted it to be written and how it actually happened are two completely different things. And then they had to do a lot of like retconning after the fact to say like, well, here's what he did. And this is what is this was supposed to happen, but technically not really because he did specifically bring back his race. And then even even the comic, like even the um, even the books after that and, and the writers didn't exa- couldn't exactly put if Cyclops was a villain or if he's just doing what he needs to do when he brings back a bunch of different like a bunch of new mutants and he has to protect them. It was it was a it was a fascinating that 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 disaster. And ultimately at the end of the day it came to be it, a lot of people, I think a lot of people and and ended up appreciating Cy- Cyclops more because of that as as opposed to the opposite. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was X Men. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that was X. Oh no. Also, can we get Sync? Sync got a really cool scene with that um, Thundercat. Yes. Yes. Oh, is he fine? Oh, did he finally make a move on Laura? No, he cut. He cut. Uh, he made. He made a coat out of a saber tooth tiger. Yeah. You're rocking now, that now, coat. Now he's fly. <laughs> so I guess Exodus' wow. power is the one power sync would not be better than Hope would. Uh, may, it depends on actually I don't I don't know it depends on belief right so I'm like hmm, maybe like okay. yeah so all right maybe oh. because he's an X Men now maybe there's people that all across the world that believe in him more than Hope Hope has just the mutants that believe in him whereas fucking uh, Sync might have uh, the, the cult of the X or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's inter- That's interesting. But like, Sync has been known to use other people's powers better than they they have, and he's consistently been doing that with little with little training. But then again, Emma Frost was his teacher, so he like um, he has more imagination. I wouldn't yeah. say little training. Like, I I don't know Sync before House of X, but mm-hmm. he had three hundred years ish inside the vault with everybody's powers. No, go go back to Generation X. Go back to the '90s Generation X. He, he it got to the point where they got annoyed anytime he used their he used uh, mm-hmm. another person's powers. Like with Penance, uh, he was able to make a force field off of her uh, diamond hard skin. Uh, with Chamber, found out he could fly. 
He's yeah, like, so he's like he's a mixture of I, I kind of I haven't seen him in a while. I haven't seen him since, since X Factor, which I think is done now, right? I think X Factor's done. Yeah, it's exactly. kind of like you could kind of describe um, uh, Sync as a mixture of Prodigy and Hope Summers, like combined, because he's actually able to sometimes use your power power better than you. Uh, so that's it. That's well, so pretty that's how, how how I kind of imagine it now, I guess it's like. Pre House of X, he could achieve like a hundred and one percent of your power, maybe a hundred and three percent. So he could go like three percent more than you. But now he can achieve a ten percent more because right. he had three hundred years in that vault with everybody's powers. He had an entire suitcase filled with blood vials of every power set he encountered in the vault. True. So he was just fucking honing his skills. Experience, experience, and imagination go a long way. Okay, let's get to the let's get to the cherry, the one we are here for. Yes, X Men Red. X Men Red should be called the birth of a goddess, but or super egos. Super, definitely super egos. Definitely super egos because um, Abigail Brand thinks she's Amanda Waller. Yeah, she wishes she was at Amanda Waller. <laughs> Amanda, Amanda Waller, Waller has more let subtlety. Let Amanda Waller wouldn't let someone quit, even though he, I, <laughs> I, I think the, I know people are gonna like have their own MVP. The MVP for me wholeheartedly is as Manifold because he's like, I see what you're doing, I'm out. No. Like, like, <laughs> and he was, and he's like, peace out. <laughs> I, 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 I am going to go make out with my crown princess girlfriend. No, I'll, I'll go. Vibe. It was like uh, he was worried that the writers were going to do something bad with them. He's like, no, 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 no. The writers aren't going to make me a villain. I'm out of you. <laughs> no, I'll go one better, Silver. Manifold needs his own book. I wouldn't mind that. I just don't. I, just, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind that. Let's let's like, let's like a limited series. Let let it be fun. Let him like like go yeah. across the uh, uh the universe and you know just he meets the, he meets a personification of the universe. It's like he actually needs, yeah. Well, yeah, that could be in, that could be an eternity. Yeah, yeah. Find out like eternity. He and eternity are like really good buds. Eternity. They like they watch R- Bridgerton together. She's like, <laughs> no, I've been around for hundreds of th- for forever. And- eternity is the living embodiment of everything in the universe. He would not watch TV. No, <laughs> it'd be fun. Make it fun. Like it doesn't have to be serious. Right. <laughs> But uh, Vulcan is Vulcan's Vulcan's mental Vulcan's Namor level mental instabilities are being manipulated. Be right. and I don't like it, especially way, es- yeah, especially when the baby Summers brothers powers can demo a whole si- several city blocks. <laughs> the best way I can describe him. Is and I, I, I gotta go back and look at if he was considered an Omega level mutant. I, I have to check that. Again. He is. It's gonna, he's an Omega. All right, okay. All right. All right. You're right here. Like the best way I can describe him is that he is. He has all of uh, Vegeta, Prince Vegeta's rate, like uh, uh, arrogance with all of, and I mean like the most recent version of of, of Broly with all of Broly's like uh, force and like brutality. <laughs> Like, uh, but I'm liking. I'm kind of liking. I just did. I, I'm kind of liking how they're incorporating him into X Men Red. Like the biggest question for me was like, wait, why is he here? Um, there's somewhat explaining now. At least like, there's like, oh, he's here because Abigail Brand needs him here. I'm like, okay, interesting. Uh, what's what's called? I will say, uh, the only thing that kind of got me was like that quote unquote fight. That was pretty mid, and their explanation for it was even was even. I would say even worse than mid. Um, because just like oh well you know you didn't you didn't activate all your power like you were you're, you're only using like one one percent of your power I'm like oh okay but he 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 took on some people like he he was able like he I think he he had a, like a, 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 a yeah Sorry. I think it was showing that Storm can create more power than he could absorb I think that's right because he can absorb because he can siphon powers I'm like okay you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you have it this time but but then again I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call it now I don't think we're gonna see Storm get beat. I just don't. As a matter of fact, they, I almost, I almost want to yeah. die in that deal because it, 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 go ahead. it sucks. But yeah, she can't. 
Right. I think, yeah, I, I don't even think that's going to happen because specifically they've already established who he's, who, who he's supposed to take, 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 take out. So I think they've kind of like been done. Like, I think they've pretty much said, okay, Storm's going to beat him, but that actually wasn't like, quote unquote, a fair fight, even though there's no such thing as a fair fight. It wasn't a fair fight because he was only using like 1% or 10%, however much it was. It, it wasn't him fully loaded. So like, oh, I mean, that's still a mid, like that's still a mid, 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 mid argument, but like, well, well, we got that out, out the way. Now we're going to, now we're going to do this thing. <laughs> Um, I, this this data page I thought was really this this phrase that Abigail used. Um, I thought I was getting Queen of Wakanda. Instead, I got Queen of the Morlocks. I'm <laughs> like, um, that yeah, yeah, okay. So Storm's gonna ignore them. She's gonna like go off and do other stuff and just ignore them while they get slaughtered. Like that's a that's a really bad uh, that's a really bad comparison. Like. Storm, like it should have been like Australian X Men Storm, like yeah. Oh, who you mean the ones that died and then have BB brought back to no. life? <laughs> the whole point is that she's embracing another culture. She's embracing more. Yeah. In, the, in the comparison, it would be she's embracing Morlock culture and not bringing Wakandan culture. That's that's what Abigail's getting well, at. Think, Instead of embracing a, colonial ahead. Western culture, she's American. Earth culture, she's embracing. Say, yeah, it's not, yeah, what kind of isn't as Western? I, I mean, I guess, yeah, I guess that's the best way I can think. That's the best way I can interpret it as. Um, I don't know. I, I just don't. I don't. I, yeah, I, I don't know what you meant by that. Honestly, like, there's, there's a couple ways. I think your way is like probably the best because it's talking about like, yeah, maybe bringing an Earth culture, but she's kind of just trying to, she's trying as opposed to assimilating. She is no, yeah, no, no, no. I think she's trying to. I don't know. It's, it's weird. I think she is trying to kind of integrate into the culture. She kind of wants no. She's assimilating the opposite. Like she's she's actually she's she's going into there. She's doing their customs as opposed to bring her own. She's like she's letting their customs like kind of guide her. I think it's that's a little the best bit of because she's also forcing peace on a war like people. Hello. Also, <laughs> okay. Um, thank you. Also, uh, something I kind of noticed: the difference between Abigail's X Men and Storm's Brotherhood. Oh, that's all right. Kind of reminds me of uh, right, how they get half police. Like uh, Abigail, just like okay, we have my X Men. We're gonna put them on, and they don't know anything about the culture. Whereas Storm, she's kind of like Storm's team is kind of like the local gang. Like it's like the Bloods and Crips. They know the area. They know the people. They uh, they interact. Well, well, they only really have two locals. The storm is kind of a local-ish. She's kind of grown to know the culture, and then Fisher King. Everyone else has basically been there for a couple of days. They're they're tourists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but like, um, like, but Abigail's team. They don't know anything about the people. They just mm -hmm. they're they're enforcing their. Yeah, like, well, that's actually that's pretty much what Sunspot said. I mean, that's Sunspot. Geez, I mean, more more, more him, him than his side, 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 But that's pretty much what Manifold said. It's like it's their it's their planet. They let they gotta let them be their planet. Magneto is as as ignorant as Abigail on their culture. But people like Magneto. They don't. They know like, oh yeah, yeah. He's angry. I like that. I like. But like, you remember when he just went up and just punched that guy in the face? I like that. Nothing's ever going to beat when Hickman made him say, "Oh, what am I ever going to do with this fresh batch of metal just made just for me?" <laughs> and and you know he looks up. It's you know the Empire tie-ins, and he's got his classic suit on, and he just looks up like, "Oh, hello, giant plant monster! Uh, look up." Yeah, <laughs> slams slams about what three different satellites on. Him. <laughs> yeah, because it's Magneto, and he can do that. And Hickman's like, "I'm making Magneto do this very beautiful thing." Oh, and um, oh, but Vulcan to me at this, he's. He's acting like a baby brother. He's acting like the youngest child who won. <laughs> like, Which he is. Yeah, he is the youngest child, but like he, he has that youngest child energy. It's just like, somebody give him a bottle. I don't or, think he can beat Tarn. I don't think he can beat him. Tarn could take away your powers from long distance. You know that's yes. Don't oh, but yeah, oh, but don't worry. Like, don't worry. If you if you stab him with a knife, then like he's he's done. <laughs> don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. He's like who would have thought that you would mean? Who toy. thought that his weakness was sharp, pointy objects in your chest? <laughs> and and I'm surprised that like he's like I'm an emperor. I've never died. Like then why don't you go to the Shi'ar? 
go and take back your throne. Like, he needs, yeah. a, he needs an army, and the Iraqi. Oh, no, he doesn't. He didn't need an army. He went up there, rolled up by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He really, like, he really did. Ro- he rocked freaking Gladiator. So, like, oh, he rocked yeah, a couple he of times. Gladiator. <laughs> uh, he tried to start something with a little Shi'ar good. She are flunky. Thunderbird the thun, th- Thunderbird. Thunderbird nearly got his ass killed. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, uh, Thunderbird is supposed to come back. Uh, like because they said that. Like in uh, uh, X-Men 3. Yeah, next month. Yeah, yeah, he's supposed to come back in X-Men 3. So I'm I'm curious how that's gonna work out. But also um, also like Abigail that in that uh, invasion by the progenin, I don't know, the giant robot. The fake uh, giant robot. Yeah. Make uh, apparently, all that was like just stage, just so they can get Cable's tech, uh, techno organic virus off of them. Which shouldn't be that big of a deal, actually. Yeah, but like, remember, brands with Orcus, so they're they're looking yeah. for ways to, like, I want to know what what our plan is, though. What is, I want to know. Is, yeah, I I, I want to know why. Sunspot was wearing freaking Grant Morrison clothes. I was like, "Whoa! Like, what a what, like what a blast from the past!" Right. But uh, and I think this... it's not a big deal because Kakor can artificially produce the virus. It's not like that virus on his arm was the only virus of that arm that they had. Like they lost it, now they no longer have it. They could just make more of it. They've cloned him before with it. It's um, it, it's just weird. Like I I want to know more about it. Like. Also, I like that uh, when Manifold left, um, every, like he wasn't the only one who was feeling that way. Frenzy, mm-hmm. you saw Frenzy w- had issues with it. You saw Random, he didn't talk, but y- you saw that he was like, he was bothered by it. Metallo, he's all in for it. Um, mm-hmm. Cable, he's playing the long. All right, is Cable, does Cable know what Brand is doing? He's just waiting for his spot to take her out? Or is he just like, I'm going. I'm yeah, with I, don't, this. I don't think Cable's that stupid. So I, Cable, I <laughs> to me, from all of what I've learned about Cable Prime, or the character in general, mm-hmm. he he sounds like how Jack Reacher, John Jack Reacher fans tell me about Reacher. He'll let you. He'll he won't jump in all the time so that you get reliant on him. But but he'll let you get close enough to getting in trouble and then he'll jump down and help you. It's, yeah, like, I want to know what... Like, we're, we're currently operating with a new old man cable, right? I guess. Uh, I can't say old man. I think we're working with, like, I guess I guess he is old man. I think it's the oh, same version. cable that... Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think it's the same cable that's been killing demons. On like, wasn't it Mars? Like it was, it was, it was, it was, it was some planet. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah it, he, it, was, it was some planet. Yeah, right. But uh, like the old, man, the old man Cable that that we thought young Cable killed, it turned out he didn't kill him. But then at the end of that story, he does kill him, and a new old man Cable then spawns from the right. timeline. Yes, yeah, so that and that's this, this is the time is like, like the yeah, going, time is like math for me because it's just one giant loop and i just i genuinely cannot like at a certain point i'm just like i can't i can't do it so i think you're right but i'm not too sure i can't but, do this anymore i, I thought he was just is... simply resurrected i, I yeah, remember the sure. panels I'm not, I'm like, sure. what do you mean simply resurrected he in the duke and cable miniseries he he was he was resurrected is it after the Annihilation War or whatever? Uh, yeah, this was after Annihilation, but they didn't know the old Cable was uh, was still alive. And that, it's mm. time. Basically, what I'm getting at is I think this new yeah. Cable, old Cable, is from this <clears throat> new timeline that has now spawned because of Omega. So when Omega Sentinel came back in time, uh, she spawned a new timeline, and I think Cable had yet to catch up to that new timeline. And so now this timeline is the one that she's now created, and and all this shit is now created. All these new things have now caused. Um, so we don't really know what this new timeline is going to be, what the outcome of it is going to be. Um, I think Abigail Brand wants Mars. Oh yeah, yeah she was. No, she, she wants like she wants more than Mars. She wants just like she like apparently Mars is just like a big 
excuse me, apparently Mara's just like one step. I, what I'm really curious about now is how she's she's gonna deal with what's his name, Lei Lei Fong, Fei Long. Yeah, I want to throw a theory I was having. All right, go ahead. We yeah, saw old man Cable in like a desert a few times in the future. Well, Prime, mm-hmm. he's Cable. What if that's not Earth? We always thought that was a wasteland Earth. What if that's just Mars? Oh, oh, you Maybe. didn't think. Thank you. Uh, all right, this is totally off topic. Um, at the end of X Men, we saw that Sinister with the. Um, with oh, the, yeah, uh, we didn't talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. I have a theory about that. Okay. There are four Sinisters. All right. Four. Okay. All right. Um, we got the we got the the diamond one. We seen the uh, is that what is that club the club one clubs clubs that's okay the clubs. Clubs. Oh, okay um, that's the different playing cards okay clover. okay so my theory is uh when we back in uh powers of x we saw uh sinister kill all the other sinisters what if he left four different types of sinisters uh around just all doing individual plants it's all part it's all part of a plan so it's just so if one sinister already counts that one, they're not going to kill that one. They're going to keep. They're going to let it live because it, they're doing their part of sinister's overall plan. Hmm. I don't know. Sinister all these great. different, all these different I plans. Would, I would want them all to be equally as important because in the diamond seems to be the original. We we saw sinister from like from like eighteen oh one or whatever. Yeah. And when he was dying, that diamond appeared on his forehead. We saw him before he had the diamond, and then while he was dying, having a heart attack or something, the diamond appeared on his head. So that right. seems to be his his safety mechanism to stop himself from dying. So I, I don't know how this one has a clover, but I want it to be that they're all kind of an original. I don't. When it comes to sinister, who's the original? Who's not? It's kind of a hard question um i want this one to be the human one though i want this one to be not a mutant sinister wait. rick sanchez of the marvel universe wait but if he does that then, then he can't be on the island the, the, the clover one oh, okay not the diamond the diamond one is the mutant all right the clover one i want to be a human uh then the hearts will be an inhuman and then... right right so, and, and then, the uh, Diamond spade. Club, and then the spade, like that'll be the that'll be Atlantean. the eternal, it's eternal or the external, whatever you want to call it. Because I don't deviant. know, that deviant. don't forget my deviants, <laughs> deviants or deviant. Oh, no, no, well, no, Karen uh, Gillen's no, writing no, eternals no, no, and they're deviants, mutants are deviants, now. yeah, yeah. But say, yeah, you don't remember, yeah, mutants are de- 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 deviants, remember <laughs> that's like that's the thing now, <laughs> yeah, that's essentially. Druig's first goal as the new Eternal Prime, the greatest excessive deviation campaign yet. Let's yeah. go to Krakoa. It's just like we thought we got all the deviants. We did it. We we forgot one, the mutants. <laughs> I was like, oh geez, here we go again. <laughs> Seems like racism to me. It's like, what's changed? Is the DNA progressed? Just you were you're only zero 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 point one percent deviant. Now you're zero 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 point two percent deviant. Right. That's too much. That's too much deviancy. Seems I, I always thought they were more deviant back then. Like mutants from a million years ago had crazier mutations, I would thought. Uh, they would have been uh, there's so much going on right now. It's yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um mm-hmm. all right. So next week we have the debut of Legion of X. Yes. Oh, sorry, Wait. that's one thing I want to say. Manifold, mm-hmm. I think that's where he should show up. Nope. Manifold, dealing with the whole... the cause can literally hear the universe and, like, talk... Maybe not hear it, but he can, like, talk to the universe. And we have a new religion, like, multiple religions being formed. Well, they, code, but one of the religions is, you know... Legion. Well, Manifold, like, Manifold specifically said, I'm done with, like, the... He, he's done with the weapon thing, period. Which I was like, oh, that's kind of distasteful. I don't... Like, that's, that's not cool. But he said, I'm going to be or something. So hopefully he's not done. <laughs> what do you I mean, no, I'm just... like, whoa, you go going to the opposition? Well, he, damn, bro. well, yeah, well, he did say, oh, yeah, well, yeah, so he, he did say, I'm going to the Avengers, so I'm like, or something, maybe he just, maybe he might just take a break, but it's like, nah, no, nah. I was like, nah, man, you're cool, no, be a part of the team, like come on, Manifold, come on, baby, you don't need to leave, like, it's like, yeah, no, it's all good, <laughs> <laughs> you don't need, like, you go through the Avengers, they're gonna make you the token mutant, 
No, they're not. Oh my god. How many mutants they have on Avengers you? right now? Oh, right now? Dude, oh, that's a good question. Uh, I don't think any. Exactly. <laughs> I don't think any, but that's that's volitionally. Like, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think any. I mean, no, no, Namor. Damn. Oh, you mean that? You mean that turncoat? That Uncle Tom? <laughs> no, you just like, asked me, so I'm like, no, Namor is on the team, so I'm, I won't. Yeah, like, um, Namor. he had a very good. He had a very good strategy of keeping uh, Cersei close. He just said, uh, I'm going to take you to Tony's hot tub and we're just going to uh, talk. Yeah. That sounds very Cosby ish. Wait, he's not on the X Men. No, he's not on the Avengers right now. I thought he was. I thought I read. I thought he was. I, I'm, I'm looking like. Yeah, T'Challa. I, think I don't he, know I what it was. was. Oh, yeah, Shala asked him. Uh, yeah. Okay, I remember. I remember seeing him in the Avengers, but and I'm not talking. I'm not talking like the Jason Aaron, but like I'm not talking like was well, still Jason. Aaron. I'm, I'm not ta- talking about when he was like the Defenders of the Deep. I'm fairly certain I saw him recently with like with the Avengers. It's probably yeah. Yeah, he's probably a part time Avengers. Yeah, part time. Shala enacted like part time Avengers that he could call. Yeah, because like now like Nighthawk is apparently like uh, apparently Night Nighthawk is also on on the team. Oh, apparently, all right, right now, it's uh, Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, She-Hulk, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Ghost Rider, Blade, Black Widow, and Doctor Strange. Right, but Blade is not, Blade is not a full member. He's only a part-time member. Yeah, because I remember at the way beginning, yeah, way at the beginning, when they were fighting, um, what were they, like, when they were fighting Celestials, like, I know uh, Ghost Rider and, Ghost Rider and Doctor Strange were right around the team. It might have been last week, but I, I I'm almost certain that uh Namor I saw Namor on on that roster. Oh, if if not, then they then if not, then they have no meeting. So there you go. Basically, the, the full time members are the people that live at the Celestial. Yeah, that live at the com that live at that live in Antarctica, I believe. Yeah, I, I really, really hope the Avengers members. pay their members. Like, if they leave, like, do they leave with nothing? Yes. Oh, rough. Um, okay okay you guys thank oh um in the next couple of weeks i'm gonna be reviewing avengers versus x-men with the upcoming uh um, oh there you go avengers versus x-men versus eternals judgment day yeah no but i'm gonna be reviewing that and then i'm gonna be doing um in humans versus x-men just to see what's the common thread uh, yeah. just seems like those other guys are haters well, thank you sir yeah. Call a three-way fight. Uh, yeah. There. Well, no. Well, uh, the the internal the the internals and the X Men are going to be coming. You know, they're going to be bumping heads. Yeah, MJ. I was hoping it would be a three-way fight. No, I you know. I think the Avengers are going to be like. Oh. Yeah. No, they're going to. Uh, they're they're going to try and like keep the peace. They're going to try, try and stop them from fighting. But like the event, the Avengers trying to. Uh, trying to interject themselves into a, a situation is kind of like um uh so yeah they have no business they just want they just want to feel important because that really that's what avengers versus the x-men was about uh, captain america didn't like the fact that cyclops was being a better leader than he was and he got butt hurt and cyclops told him like why are you even here you're never here you never help us you only help need a, you only come by when you need something. So what do you need? Okay, here we go. Sorry, I'm looking at it. I know oh, it's yeah, on. Sure. Uh, sorry, I know I know it's on. So so on on Avengers number fifty four, which like was like two or three weeks ago. I definitely see Namor on the cover. Now, yeah, now to be fair, him being on the cover doesn't necessarily mean that he's there, but I, I definitely see him on there. He is like yeah. on the team for Avengers, so I think he is. I think he is a member. Oh, okay. All right. All right. My my bad. I was I was checking the I was checking uh Google, which. Yeah. Well, Google's, I know, but sometimes Google's not updated with like the, like sometimes you, I don't know. I think it's like I said before, this is kind of like, this is my little rant, you know, not rant, you know, then we can, then we can call it, um, what you call it, like the, the wiki sometimes I like, most times I like the manga anime way wiki is better because, but that's just because it, it's a complete story. There's just so much crap when it comes to, uh, a DC or Marvel wiki, even though I, even though this is not a bias, I wholeheartedly believe that the Marvel web wiki is better than the DC wiki, but anime wikis or anime or manga web wikis are better than the uh a bad, bad better than the marvel way but anyway 
Um, there's just so much to, to go on. I think maybe now, if you looked up Namor on the on the Marvel wiki, 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 it might actually be up to date. But like I said, just 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 so much stuff happens because it's just it's, we just we just got to keep it going, got to keep the gravy train rolling. Uh, rolling. Yeah, they need to get a better intern updating these uh these rosters. I just sorry, I just said keep the gravy train rolling. I'm like, oh man, Namor as Ronan, that'd be kind of cool. Hmm. Ronan Namor. <laughs> He probably he probably wear he'll probably wear the suit too. They're like, I look good. No, no, he'll wear the suit, but then he'll have like, cause he cause he can't he does not believe in a costume that does not show his his chest. So it'll just be the Ronin's chest. It'll open, be like the just, Ronin, but the chest will be just open. No, no. Any anytime he goes into a situation, he goes. <laughs> and then yeah, that and then then even funnier, just like wait, is that you? Your name more? No, it's not me. And then he's like, well, you got the. Well, I mean, you didn't hide your. Your uh, your wing feet. Like it's not me. I'm not named. I'm not named more. Like I or or he has a tattoo that says name more is great. You know what? Right. <laughs> you know what? Oh, like, I want I want to see him start say doing like what Bender does in Futurama. Guy like, name more is great. I am so great. <laughs> right. <laughs> he just has a uh, he has the helmet, uh, steel spandex, and uh, yeah, nothing else. That's it. And, and that I love Sue tattoo on it on the back of his thigh. <laughs> right. Even funny, he just he's he's Ronin, but he always uses a trident. I'm like, well, there's only a couple people he's a trident. Is it? Is that your name? No, no, it's not me. (laughs) It's a really inaccurate picture of Sue. Like, there's a picture of Sue that's really inaccurate, and and she's blue. (laughs) Okay, Namor's like, finally, (laughs) (laughs) it it reads like this guy just. Stop hitting on my wife. It's not funny anymore. She's all I have. <laughs> no, no, no. She's all he had. She, no, wait. No. Like, yeah. I think that she would be interesting. No, that's oh, that's what we need to do. I would love that. I would love to see like who's like there's because there's enough characters in the MCU. Who's gonna be simping for Doctor for uh for Doctor for Mr. Fantastic? There, there, there's there's somebody out there. That would be that'd be a great discussion. Who is simping for for Mr. Fantastic? Someone is out there. I know they are. How many wasp? Because then she, she could have a smart boyfriend that won't won't hit her. No, no, that's not true. No, because uh, Mr. Fantastic also hit 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 Sue. Yeah. True. Uh, there's also um Alyssa Moy. His ex girlfriend that uh, broke up with them because, uh, what what was it, what did she say? Uh, we're too smart. Like we need to we need to spread our smart gene around the stupid people. <laughs> but yeah, um, man, I would, yeah, but yeah, that'd be great. That'd be a great like that's the next topic. That should be, be, be the next topic uh, or like the next like icebreaker. Like who in the MCU and I mean like the Marvel Comic Universe, like not like not the movie verse. Who in that universe is simping for Mr. Fantastic? Because there, there's, there, there are people there. There, there, there has to be, huh? Shuri. Maybe. So like Maybe. she has a crush. She's like, no, she's like one of those girls in um, Indiana Jones that that would like. He's so he's so dreamy when he's uh, going over the negative right. zone. It's like I didn't <laughs> believe he could do that. He blew my mind. <laughs> Somebody out there, let's call it. Maybe if I write for, if Marvel hires me, that may that may be my first book. Just like the book where like I do a Fantastic Four, it'll be one issue. It'd be a Fantastic Four book, and all I'm going to show is like, oh no, here is like this particular character that's simping for. What's that Dino Fantastic. girl? Huh? What's that Dino girl that isn't there like a Dino girl Moon that has girl and Devil Dinosaur? Yeah, and it's like crazy mental powers, like. Not powers, but like mental. Acuity. No, well, that's funny too. Thank you for mentioning because she's an inhuman. Funny enough, <laughs> she. Okay. All right. Yes. Um, wrapping up, we got MJ, Sterling Silver, Corey on 1407. Uh, we'll see you soon. Yes.